Welcome back to another Unturned video. Today I went on an Aerith server and we're going to do a ton of PvP and raiding including a really good Adamantium sky base raid. If you guys do enjoy these type of videos and want to see more Aerith content in the future make sure to drop a like, let's aim for 500 likes. Subscribe if you haven't already, a huge percentage of you guys watching right now aren't subscribed and we're trying to reach 40,000 by the end of the year. Last video I announced a mythical giveaway and this is the winner. To claim your prize please join my discord and contact me there. Today we're going to run another one which is an energized parrot. To have a chance to win this mythical make sure that you have liked, subscribed and comment something below. Chat members also have a higher chance of winning and I want to thank every channel member. If you guys haven't joined the 5 mythical giveaway yet either, the link will also be in the description below. That giveaway is almost over so make sure to check it out. Today's video is sponsored by Life's Adventure Netherworld Hero. Life's Adventure is a story driven cooperative 2D action adventure game giving teamwork a very big importance. You have to guide two completely different characters combining their unique abilities to overcome the evil sources of the netherworld. You can either play this game with a friend in co-op mode or in single player mode. If you are playing single player mode you can play with both characters and if you're playing in co-op mode you have to choose either Leif or the ghost. Leif is used to fight, jump and run and as for the ghost you can explore areas activating ghost objects, platforms, collectibles and also stunning enemies. This game also has progression skill based gameplay. Life can learn various skills including power bomb, air attack and throwing weapons as well as upgrade combat weapons. The game has a hugely diverse world filled with adventure and explores 6 different levels. Battle against huge secret monsters and various creatures, golems and many other deadly monsters. Personally I have played this game and I honestly couldn't stop playing it. This game is made from a solo developer and the game is coming out later this year. Make sure to whitelist now, check out the demo and the link will be in the description below and let's get straight into the video. Alright boys, aired. Now, last time I've played here, I actually got myself pretty rich. Now, this server is a bit different. This server has a shop and you can buy literally everything on air. You, you can only buy pretty much every single gun, but you cannot buy stuff like explosives, gunpowder and all of that. So the server is mostly a PvP slash raiding server rather than actually surviving and doing all of that. But yeah, I posted one video and the server is full like two days later, which is actually quite epic. Now I did have a base, I did have a lot of loot, but I actually gave it all to another guy. Now this other guy, I'm going to duel with him. He's going to join the server very, very soon. But until he joins, I'm going to try to do maybe a little play by myself or just start looting around. Perhaps I can actually buy myself a gun already. I have quite a ton of money from last time. Probably today all we're going to focus on is actually PvP and maybe we'll do some insane base raids. Usually in Arid I try to focus on going from nothing to finishing Fort Canal, but today I am going to get myself hopefully as much raids as possible. Yeah, I bought myself a TX-45, got myself some mags. Yeah, somebody just bought a helicopter as well. And obviously to get money we would need to sell items. And the easiest way to sell items is either by raiding and you sell everything that's inside. Or you can kill zombies as well, I'm pretty sure kills also matter. Yeah, that guy's going all the way over there, I'm not gonna... Or somebody shooting a nemesis. We're very, very close, let's try to actually kill him. I have no idea where he shot from though. Oh yeah, I, he may have homed or something. Or he's somewhere around here. This is where I had... Oh, no, he's right here. He killed somebody. He just sniped somebody. Hopefully he doesn't see me and snipe me as well. Yeah, this is where I had my base last time. I'm pretty sure it got completely raided. But I did give all my items to my teammate. Oh, I think I saw him. Oh, yeah, he's right over there. Let's crawl. I don't know if I think he saw me. And he is dead. Alright. Let's check out what loot he had. Oh yeah, he's actually stacked. Alright. Let's open our vault. Let's put... Oh yeah, we have the, the big rucksack. Let's go. A bunch of guns. GPs, LSRs. This guy went to night vision. Pretty sure this guy went to Fort Canal then with this loot. Alright, let's go. Easy Rex to riches. We've been on the server for like two minutes. And we already have all of this loot. Alright, so let's get out of here before he actually comes back because we're very, very close to the safe zone and he may have a base somewhere as well. Alright, let's put the nemesis in vault. This is what I vaulted from last time pretty much. An axe, mesh and detonator, N nothing else. Alright, so yeah, my teammate is actually in the server as well. Good, perfect timing. Now, I have no idea what his base is or where his base is. If you guys are wondering, the big rucksack, you could buy it for like 6k. Even though it's an admin backpack, which is kind of weird. Alright, so my teammate did accept the... CPA, and here we are. Alright, so, I don't even see us where we're on the map, so we're probably at the border somewhere. Alright, he's gonna invite me to the group as well. Yeah, he has quite a ton of my loot in here, so... He invited me to the group, let's go. Alright, so I'm currently storing all of the items that I've had. Now, my teammate does have quite a ton of raiding gear. He does have quite a ton of explosives that I've had from last time. I'm gonna put a bed in here, so now we can actually home. I'm not gonna run around with anything crazy, probably just a GP, some clothes, and some ammo. 
since the server is quite populated right now, we're probably gonna run into a lot of people, and I don't wanna give them that much loot in case I die. Now let's drop what we had in our vault as well, so we have an empty vault. Now first, we're probably gonna run around for some PvP, and then later we'll try to find some base raids. Well, there's somebody with a heli going right above us. Oh, and they have exploded. Nice. Right, so we're living next to this huge raided base. Let's check out where this guy died with the heli. We're probably, if he has loot, it's gonna be the easiest loot of our lives. But I have no idea where he crashed. Oh, there we go. There's the crash over there. That's some easy loot, man. I'm not gonna lie. And there's people. Alright, he is dead. Oh, they were they were a duo. Let's check out their Oh yeah, they're dude, they have so much logs. Bro, look at this. <laughs> There's so much logs. Oh my god. Alright, yeah, well, looks like I'm gonna need to buy a big rucksack already. This guy's farmed the whole map with the amount of logs that there is. Alright, that's where the big rucksack. Bro, I could build that the biggest base ever with this. Right, other than that, they don't really have that much good loot. They have Zo lashes. Oh, they have a big rucksack as well. Even more logs over here. But it probably took him so long to get all of that. Well, it's all mine now, though. Alright, these guys. More Zolashes, some metal, gunpowder, dummy ammo belt. We got 88 sacks of logs. Alright, so we're currently going to Fort Canal, but... Um, we're doing a quick stop. I oh, this is his base. And he has a billion turrets outside. Nice. That thing over there used to be his main base. Well, this guy likes to build a lot. Right, I have no idea why we're here. I think we're gonna... Okay, yeah, he has a bunch of raiding gear just inside this base. And even more ammo. Nice. Bro, this feels like a mission. We're, I don't know why we're here. I think he wanted to get something specific. Oh, a police vest. Okay, well, police vests are usually used for getting more storage, but with a big rucksack, I don't really think it matters that much. Alright, so we're currently in Fort Canal. Now, the plan is, we're gonna kill zombies, we're gonna sell everything that they drop, get money, and uh, that's pretty much... I think there are people here, though, because there's loot on the floor. Alright, so yeah, we did loot around a bit, got ourselves quite a ton of money, so I think now we're gonna head off and look for some intense PvP encounters. Somebody did loot here, but there's still quite a ton of zombies around, which we're still selling pretty much everything that we find. Except for the ammo belts, we cannot sell those and gunpowder. Plus, we need them anyway. Alright, so I think we found insane base raids. This is where I used to live, and none of these bases were here, so probably they are all unraided and perhaps even active. There was already one over there. Uh, let's unequip that vest because we run much slower with it. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, there's another one down here as well. And there's one more back there. Bro, there's three bases around. There's people there. And I am dead. Great. Alright, well, it's a duo. They have MKPs. I hit them once. Hopefully my teammate doesn't die. I'm gonna TPA back. I bought myself a TX. Now let's reload. Yeah, they're still over there. I bought myself a nemesis. I don't know if it's a good idea. All my loot is over there. I think they're gonna try to circle us. They throw a grenade at us. Oh. He's pushing from the side. I bought myself another TX. I'm just gonna push, I don't even care. Alright, got ourselves a helmet. Alright, and they're both dead. Easy. Yeah, MKP, biohazard clothes, rucksack. This guy has absolutely nothing. Alright, let's go equip the old clothes that I've had. They may actually be live. They could be living around here. So, one of these bases might actually be theirs. Alright, let's reload. I'm happy we got biohazard... Oh my god, alright, this guy is geared. For some reason, he has a billion magazines. Bro, I died twice there. That was kind of bad, not gonna lie. But it's fine, we're still here. Alright, so we're gonna hit up this first raid. We're gonna start off with something small. Plus, there's a can here, so it actually might be live. We're gonna use the sub bot. I don't know how much ammo it takes, but it's wooden, so yeah, it shouldn't take us that much. It's destroyed. The this one not even claimed. Alright, and it's destroyed. Check out what loot we have. Nothing that good, nothing. Alright, this raid was not that good. We got ourselves 10 me 15 metal sheets. Was it worth it? No, definitely not. I mean, we're gonna sell everything anyway. We'll put everything in there. Let's put the sub bot back in vault. Now, thankfully, we have a lot of ammo, so we're gonna do a huge raiding spree on the server. Plus, I'm pretty sure there's base health on the server, actually, so it might take us quite a ton to go through bases. Alright, let's sell them. I don't know what's actually sold and what's not. Yeah, the law cannot be sold and neither the metal parts. Alright, onwards to the next base raid, then. Alright, there's somebody shooting us. Bro, oh, hell no. Alright, we're gonna go kill him, obviously. He has a Zolash. Wait, he's probably gonna come around from this area. Where the hell is he? Oh, he's right over there. Alright, he's dead. My aim there was a bit horrendous, but he's dead. He had armored vest, MK2, a bunch of dressings. Alright, we got all of his clothes. Let's med up. Oh, he just came out from there. 
All right, he's dead as well. Bro, we just found his base. Insane life base raid. He has a helicopter as well. It's made out of wood, so we should be true quite easily. Yeah, he has a honeybee. He has an armored door. An adamantium one. Damn. All right, so my teammate will raid while I will cover the front door. He may salvage or something. All right, he's gonna use the subwatt. I'm gonna make sure that he doesn't open the door and pushes us out. All right, he broke it. Is he even in there? All right, he's not even in here. Okay. Maybe there's a cooldown. Well, this crate's empty and this crate's empty as well. Nothing that good. Nice. Another insane life base raid. But he had absolutely nothing that good. Herself some logs. Oh, he made... He made a ladder. Okay, very good. Wait, I can't even... Alright, there we go. Alright, well, that was kind of disappointing as well. Well, we'll take the honeybee. Let's sell the honeybee, the Zolash, his clothes... Yeah, we can't sell the metal, alright. And the vehicle parts. Alright, there's another base over here next to a helicopter. So it may be a sign that the guys are actually rich, so they might have good loot inside. And this one's a 2 by 2 Wooden as well. You can only find wooden bases till now, man. Alright, that his box is out. And we are through. Looks like two industrial crates. This one's empty, this one's empty as well. Wait, where is he raiding? No, no, we could have just broken this with anything. Oh, that was fine. Oh, even more crates. Um, alright, well, there's some stuff in here that we could pos potentially take. Let's just destroy it with the axe. Alright, that took like five hits. Oh, we need to destroy this one as well. Alright, yeah, we are through. This one has nothing and... Bro, what's going on with these raids? They're all bad. What is that? Is that a carpet? Alright, logs. Let's take the video receivers. Those are quite useful for hordes. And let's get out of here. This raid... Not that good either. Let's just open this, start selling everything. Wait, wait for me, bro. And he's gone. There's another base over here, actually. Yeah, my teammate is just going for it. He's already raiding. Got myself a ladder. Let's put this right over there. Alright, he broke it, and this one. Hey, oh, not that bad. Okay, well, two full outfits for bio, some filters, and two gauze masks. That's not too bad, actually. It's something that it can be useful for us. I'll take the gauze masks as well. I already lost count of how many raids we did. I think we did like five already. Even though they're small. Well, looks like we found ourselves an adamantium sky base. Alright, well that's something you don't really see on air to be honest. Oh yeah, dude. Okay, well there's a glass one by one here and there's some s stuff. Uh, Alright, well my teammate's raiding into it. I don't know if it's a good idea. Alright, yeah, we are back in home. I'm taking ammo. Because we're gonna need a lot more for adamantium. Hopefully this one will actually have loot and won't be empty and the owners would have left with everything in their big rucksacks. Yeah, we have so much Jesus. Alright, I'll take another subbot so that I can help him raid as well. Alright, let's see. We might actually use all of our raiding gear on this one then. Alright, let's depot what we got from the previous raids as well. Yeah, we are back. Oh yeah, my teammate is true. There's a Moai head here. Alright, well he's breaking these. I'm gonna take that. Alright, let's drop him some ammo, and I will obviously start helping him out as well now. That's a big fish. Dude, I've never seen this fish before. Alright, well, whoever built this base definitely grinded. Alright, so we should probably raid from the roof, actually. But the helicopter is in the way. Yeah, my teammate is gonna move it. I'm just gonna raid then. It might actually take us a while to get through this adamantium roof. And we are finally through, and yeah, there- okay, well, there's a- Bro, there's a lot of lockers in here. Alright, can we buy an adamantium roof then? Oh yeah, we can. Oh, that's perfect. Right, I can't build it yet, though. Right, let's destroy the claim generator so that we can place the adamantium roof. Alright, finally. Now let's place that, and we are safe from any counter raiders. Which will probably be quite common, since everybody can buy a helicopter. Alright, let's reload- Let's see what's placed over here, because there's quite a ton. Yeah, we are back. Let's get even more ammo. Let's depot the big fish. I don't want to lose that fish. All right, we got one C4. And there's some more ammo here for the subbot. Now, as for the lockers, we cannot use the C4 on it. We can only use it on, like, the industrial crates. Because C4 doesn't work on it. We can only shoot down the lockers. All right, let's see that we didn't miss anything. Yeah, I think we actually have all of the raiding gear on us. We don't have any more in the base. So hopefully this raid will be profit. We got some AMR ammo. Oh, never mind. We have a lot of AMR ammo in this one. A lot of subbot mags. All right, TPA. All right, we are back. Let's start raiding. Let's hope for some good loot. All right, this one broke and absolutely nothing. Great. All right, my teammate is gonna put a C4. All right, they broke and all right. Well, there's loot. Um. Okay. Well, syringes. Oh, there's a bunch of explosive compounds here. That's actually really, really good. You cannot buy those, so that's really perfect. Alright, so my teammate is saying that these guys raided him. 
So, it's like we're doing a little revenge raid. They may have raided me as well, I don't know, but... Oh, there's somebody outside. Somebody flying a helicopter right outside. Great. Now we got ourselves even more C4 from that lockers. Oh, we gotta raid quickly then. Because they may try to counter raid us. Alright, this broke as well. And Golden Zolashes. Bren, Gauss Musk, Filter. A bunch of... Dude. Alright, well these guys have a lot of loot. AMR box as well. Yeah, there's people on top of the sky base. I don't know what my teammate is doing. Hey guys, open the door! Alright, well, the guy that's talking is a villain. He's solo, but obviously... Uh, let's just focus on finishing the raid. Uh, I don't know what he's doing. Is he open trying to raid? Bro, I'm not gonna open the door. Alright, let's continue raid. And this one broke. Oh my god! Dude, there's like a hundred filters in here. Jesus Christ. Alright, let's take all of them. Bro, we have enough filters to literally live in the dead zone. This one broke. And more metal crates, so nothing that good. Bro, this guy gonna shut up. Right, let's start raiding these ones next. This one broke. Absolutely nothing. And adamantium ingot. Alright, so I think my teammate is gonna start selling literally everything. And while I raid. Bro, this guy base is mad profit, actually. If we sell everything, we're gonna get so much money. And plus, we got so much explosive compounds, we can probably make a lot of more raiding gear with it. Alright, another one broke. It looks like it's just an auto shotgun, nothing else. That one broke as well. We'll check them out afterwards. Let's just finish this drum. Alright, let's reload. Yeah, nothing that good. Some HEMO belts. There's a blasting cap. More solid state drives. Let's sell them. They give us quite a lot of money and I don't really use them. So we'll sell all of them. At the end, when we finish raiding this base, I have an idea on how we can kill the counter raid there. That one broke. Nothing that good though. I think these are gonna be empty actually. That one was empty as well. Oh, we're not gonna raid that one though. This one broke. Looks like a bunch of junk. That one broke as well. Yeah, more solid state drives. Right, he's trying to raid with an AW-12. I don't really think that does any good damage. Or even if it's raids. Alright, so another Bren MKP. Oh, two of them actually. Night Vision. Explosive Compounds. Alright, I think we raided everything then. We only have to raid the big one. Which we probably won't, to be honest. Because it takes us way too much and there's probably gonna be empty. Because a lot of people actually do that. Alright, we are back in base. I'm gonna depot really quickly. Bro, we got so much raiding gear from this. We got ourselves an adamantium locker as well. Bro, look at all of this filter. I didn't even get all of them. I was just spamming F. Got ourselves a lot of explosive compounds as well. Alright, so this is the plan. My teammate bought sentries. I sealed off everywhere and there's a bed behind there. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to salvage this. I'm going to place a roof and we're going to rush him. Alright. Oh, yeah, he's right there. He's clueless. And he is dead. And that's how you kill a counter raider. Yeah, he has a graphics card. I think we left this graphics card over here, actually. I'm dying of starvation. Yeah, he didn't have anything that good. Some of loot probably fell down though. Alright everybody, that's going to be it for this video. Now, there is going to be a continuation video where in that one, I will go solo and we're going to continue doing a lot of raids. A lot of adamantium, a lot of normal bases as well, and as well as some PvP. So if you guys do want that to come out soon, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys do enjoy these kind of videos, or they're a bit different than the usual, let me know as well. And I will see you on the next one. Bye!